Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. Andy Bioko. Wow. Get the colors on this fish. And Mike Anselmo. Man, he bumped it. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and on today's episode, we're closing out our ice fishing season. And for me at least, this ice fishing season will go down as one of the most unpredictable ice seasons I can ever remember, at least from a standpoint of ice conditions and weather. Uh, I've fished in more raging rainstorms this winter than I ever care to remember. So hopefully next year, we get more of a traditional winter. On today's episode, we're back north of the Minnesota border fishing in Ontario out of Crawford's Camp in Sioux Narrows. And the reason we chose to go back to Crawford's Camp was pretty simple. Ice conditions throughout a lot of the ice belt are a total mess. I'm pretty confident that the ice conditions are gonna hold up long enough at Sioux Narrows for somebody that watches the show to go up there and actually take advantage of what they see here today. So we're gonna target walleyes. And what we wanted to do was close out our season with a good walleye show. What we found was a bite that really didn't live up to our expectations, although we did have a fantastic day of fishing. So it's a multi-species show from Crawford's Camp out of Sioux Narrows. I'll be fishing with Pat McSherry today on In-Depth Outdoors. Got him. Good one. He's not a giant. If he's a perch, he's a great big one. Had a little swivel down there that was stuck. That is a nice perch. Yeah, heck yeah it is. You know what? I do believe he's coming home with me. You know, the perch seem to be on a kind of a bit of a resurgence here. Lake of the Woods all over the place. I mean, mm -hmm. northwest angle all the way up here to Suneros. Come on, fish. Boy, did he want that. You fishing green UV, Pat? Yep. Yeah, I uh, threw one of those glow yellow perch on. That is a really nice perch right there. I'll take a bunch more of those, Pat. Oh, yeah. Nice mixed bag. All right, to start the day, Pat and I are both fishing a number uh, five slab wrap. I've got a... Uh, uh, glow yellow perch on here and I believe Pat's fishing a green UV if he hasn't changed it up on me already and uh, you know we're kind of counting on these fish being aggressive first thing in the morning and if they slow down a little bit then we'll go kind of that traditional uh, spoon rattle spoon with a with a minnow head so uh, right now uh, with just a few fish in the bucket it looks like we're going to be able to use that uh, slab wrap at least for the beginning portion of the day. Fish are coming up when uh, we do get a fish on screen they come up pretty aggressively if that changes of course we'll just go back to that spoon with some meat. Here he comes. Here comes the sun. Oh, Pat got one. I think I got one of those uh, jumbos again. I Jumbo hope you perch. Do. Not a smallmouth this time? No, not a smallie. Oh, yeah. Nice, good hump back there. Just I didn't like, expect this. I like this, but I didn't uh, expect we'd catch this many perch. Right, yeah, I'll catch, uh, as long as the perch are quality, man, I'll catch those all day long. And just like James, I'm running that slab wrap number five. I got the green UV. He's using the glow yellow perch, but another good one for the ice. There he is. Well, what do we got here? Feels like a little walleye, not a giant. Come here, buddy. Nope. Perch. Nice one. Super nice. There. That's a nice average size perch there. Yeah, that's a jumbo. I'll take those all day long. You know, I guess I've never actually got in on a, a really good perch bite up on Lake of the Woods. I've caught some big perch up here. Just never any numbers, and we're off to a great start. And that is fine eating right there. And of course he got wrapped up in the transducer cord a little bit, as they love to do. Yeah, when you catch a uh, perch and you're not sure if he's a walleye or a perch, that's uh, 
It's kind of a nice deal. Right. Still using that slab wrap, no change there. That perch thought it was gonna eat one of its own kind. That's that glow yellow perch. Uh, you can see why they eat it because it looks a lot like the one on the ice there. Uh, doesn't quite have as much orange on the fins, but everything else is kind of a spot on match. Well, I know the big melt starts tomorrow, but it's cold this morning. Oh man, yeah, it is. There we go. Wally or perch? I think it's another one of the perch variety. <laughs> crazy we didn't really come for the perch but at all no but they're they've been dang nice oh yeah another nice one <laughs> honestly I mean this is the last thing I thought we would do today right I am perfectly okay with it well I mean we've got uh, let's just say un walleye friendly conditions right you know super <laughs> high skies but if the perch want to bite that's just fine yeah it's cool they got those real real bright fins on there Cool looking fish. Yeah, the body of them isn't quite as bright, vibrant yellow as like a South Dakota perch, but right. the, uh, the peck fins are really cool looking. Mm -hmm. Nice fish. Yep. Throw him on the ice, and hopefully, there's a school coming in here. We can get in on some more. Lake of the Woods has got to be one of the best multi species destinations there is. I mean, everything from lake trout, muskies, walleyes, pike perch, crappies. I mean, you can do just about everything out here. Makes it a pretty fun place to go. You got a lot of options. You want to see excitement, wait till Pat gets a uh, lake trout on his perch rig. <laughs> it could happen. Could happen. Skeeter Boat Center is now a full service warrior boats dealer, offering the complete line of warrior boats, all covered by reliable Yamaha outboards. With dealerships located in Ramsey, Minnesota and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, Skeeter Boat Center carries more warrior boat models in stock than any other warrior boat dealer. No matter which warrior model is right for you, you'll receive the same attention to detail and service after the sale that made Skeeter Boat Center the number one Skeeter dealer by volume in the Midwest. For the best selection of fiberglass fishing boats and unmatched service, stop in or visit us online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip-up fishing. Look at that. Find oh, iFish Pro go. online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Well, just that little bit of a move off the edge might have got us onto some walleyes. That's pretty cool. You said you had a big school of bait come through? Yeah, I did just a little bit ago. And hopefully we got a walleye here. Yeah, nice eater size walleye there. In that kind of upper teens range. <laughs> Slab wrap is buried down deep in there. See if I can pop that out. There we go. Yeah, nice fish there. Just a little bit deeper water is all. Still on the same program with that slab wrap. And uh, both the perch and the walleyes are liking it. Got him. Boy, that fish just come flying up. Absolutely no free warning at all. If only perch or walleye? Like that, not a big fish. Look at this. 
So all we can do today is just catch big perch. <laughs> it's just crazy. I can't say I'm ever gonna come to Lake of the Woods and hope the walleyes don't bite, but man, if when they don't, uh, these perch sure seem to make up the, uh, make up the difference. You know, they're just really nice fish. Yeah. I mean, that's not a, a giant perch by any means, but very respectable, gonna be a very good eater. I might not have to take home that second walleye today. Sweet, and like I said, that one didn't give me any games. There was no finesse to that one. One minute my bait was a foot and a half above the bottom and the next minute it was in his mouth. All right, you know, Pat and I have uh, settled in on what I believe will be our pattern here the rest of the day. We're both fishing the uh, largest size of the slab wrap. That's that glow yellow perch. Pat's fishing that green UV and both colors are working and really they're they're both perch patterns, but they're, they're pretty different. I mean, this is kind of a natural pattern, and that one that uh, Pat's fishing is a very bright green with that, of course, that UV treatment to the paint. Sweet! He comes on. Oh, I missed him. Come on, give me another shot. Giant? Oh, yeah, he's a giant. Can't wait to see him. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I'd say he's at least, at least five pounds. Is he five pounds after you add four pounds of bologna to that or what? <laughs> Holy, look at that perch. Hey! <laughs> this perch had me fooled. I thought it was a little shaker walleye. And that's a jumbo perch right there. Nice perch. That's what's cool about this pattern we're doing though, is we're getting some really nice perch mixed in with these walleyes. Now we haven't caught any of the you know great big walleyes yet, but these perch are kind of making up for it here in the meantime. Let me see that guy. Yeah, not a bad one, huh? Very nice. <laughs> He's going on the ice. Yes, he is. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's spot on the spot ID, Pat and I were fishing some water that to us was completely new. Uh, we've never been this far west of Crawford's camp to do anything other than lake trout fishing. But we did have an approach in mind to try to stay on a good walleye bite throughout the course of the day. Now when we first arrived, we expected to find a decent walleye bite in the 16 to 20 foot range. Now that's highlighted here in green. We've got a very sharp breaking section on the island here as well as down here with this corner of the island slowly sliding out into deeper water that's shown as a soft bottom area. Uh, this to Pat and I was an area that really needed to be investigated. So when we first got to this spot, we targeted traditional walleye depths for this part of Lake of the Woods. So as you'll notice in the show, we didn't find walleye right away. Uh, what we ended up doing was working out towards deeper water, thinking that maybe these walleye had slid out deeper as the sun started to rise. And of course, what we found were nothing but perch. Thankfully, they were really nice sized perch. And as the sun started to fall, those walleyes that we expected to catch early in the day started to turn on. And what we had done was punch a significant number of holes from that 31, 32 foot of water where we were catching the perch all the way up to about 16 foot. And what we did as that sun started to lower, we marched backwards, shallow as those fish started to move up that break. We ended the day with just enough sunlight left to navigate safely back to the resort, catching fish as shallow as 16 feet. And it's really a lot of fun uh, when you're set up on a spot like that and you've got those fish pushing in shallow to just be able to stay right lockstep with them. Had we stayed at one depth and just fished a couple of holes in 28 foot of water, those fish would have moved through that depth and our bite would have gone dead. By having those holes ready, to allow you and your fishing partner to just fall back with those fish as they move shallow, you're able to stay on a much better bite from start to finish. Markham's new pocket-sized handheld underwater cameras, the Recon 5 and 5 Plus, use a five-inch color display to deliver superior screen detail and employ a combination of dark water LED and infrared lighting to punch through the darkness. The Recon 5 Plus adds a built-in DVR and on-screen display for critical information, previously only available on full-sized underwater viewing systems. This winter, see what you've been missing with a Recon from Markham Technologies, the undisputed leader in underwater cameras. 
everything you'd expect from a premium quality fish house, and so much more. Glacier combines superior craftsmanship and premium quality materials to produce a comfortable and enjoyable mobile base camp for your next outdoor adventure. Available in a variety of models, a Glacier Ice House offers more standard features, more usable space, and a better fit and finish than the competition. Visit our website at GlacierIceHouse.com to find a dealer near you and see why a Glacier Fish House is the ultimate way to play. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry leading five year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. Skeeter Boat Center is now a full-service Warrior Boats dealer, offering the complete line of Warrior Boats, all covered by reliable Yamaha Outboards. With dealerships located in Ramsey, Minnesota and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, Skeeter Boat Center carries more Warrior Boat models in stock than any other Warrior Boat dealer. No matter which Warrior model is right for you, you'll receive the same attention to detail and service after the sale that made Skeeter Boat Center the number one Skeeter dealer by volume in the Midwest. For the best selection of fiberglass fishing boats and unmatched service, stop in or visit us online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. Boom! I think it's a pretty good one. Jeez, you're on fire over there. Hey, I mean, it just kind of revolves. It was you for a while, it was me for a while. <laughs> Who's next, right? I'm coming over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind getting the neighbor. I must be, I mean, I wish the water clarity was better to allow us to throw it on the camera. Look at that. Hey, that's, that's a good one. That's a chub. That's a good one anywhere. You know, I wish we had uh, some better water clarity here, Pat, so we could really see what was going on. Right. I'm going to guess that there's like a little gravelly patch here or some smaller rocks or something mm -hmm. where these guys can just root around down in there and get after those crayfish, but that's a great perch. Oh, heck yeah. We're filling up on these things. Yeah, they're piling up. And they're also <laughs> saving our keisters because this was going to be a walleye show. Yeah. You know? Sometimes you got to take what you can get. We're not getting any walleyes. No. I actually, I mean, if I had to choose between this and a 16 inch walleye, I'd take this any day. I would too. All right. That's a nice fish there. Back you go, bud. Nice work. Thank you. Well, I think I just stumbled on a lucky hole here more than anything because this one has just been consistently bubbling up with fish. Oh, I think I got a lake trout coming here. Are you kidding me? Oh, he was right on me. Come on. There he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about multi-species, I was dropping down and that <laughs> fish all of a sudden showed up right on the bait. And I could tell, I was like, oh, this looks pretty lake trouty. <laughs> Leave it to Pat. And I we're... said earlier in the day, you were just, you know, you were laying up, you were sandbagging and just gonna catch a big fish. <laughs> well, I hadn't, I hadn't seen any uh, perch in a while. I mean, it, I literally, it's been every few minutes and then it right. kind of went about 10 minutes dead. He is a ways out yet, I think. Well, and you got the slab wrap on there. Yep. Not the biggest hooks in the world. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you can replace the hooks and it's a good lake trout bait, but I wasn't planning on tangling with a lake trout today. <laughs> you know, some of the biggest lakers I've caught up here um, were actually walleye and perch fishing further up by Kenora. Yeah. You know, just accidental mm -hmm. bump, bounce into them. Lakers gotta eat too. Yes, they if do. I was a laker, I'd love to eat perch. No, and I absolutely, whew. They got power, man, they, they got do. power. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to explain to somebody that's never caught a lake trout why we get so excited about these fish. There's just nothing like it. Mm-hmm. And also, if you're wondering why we're catching perch with a commander, this is partly just why. Just in case, just in case. <laughs> <sighs> I just hope we can get him up the hole. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing the swim at me head shake thing. I hate it when they do that. I know. Ooh, he's gonna be getting close now, but I don't think he's done yet. I just want to get a good look at him for you. He's still way off to the side. Yeah, it feels like I might be. I'm not hooked in you the ice. Not, okay, good. Not, not to my knowledge. 
Every once in a while when they take those big heavy runs, they can wear a groove in the bottom of that ice and that line will get kind of caught in there and they can get a different angle on you and potentially get some slack, but I think he's good. It's a heavy fish, although I have been catching perch all day. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I have met my match here. Oh my, Pat, that's a dark, big fish. Oh, that's a giant, James. That is a big one. This is a big, big fish. And this is the part that I've been dreading. Straight up and down. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Pat. Oh, it keeps coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Look at that fish. Woo! <laughs> The multi-species day on Lake of the Woods. Man, what a fish. That thing would probably go another round with you if you'd put it mm -hmm. back in the water. Perfect. You gonna frame that uh, slab wrap there? <laughs> that is a, that's a beautiful lake trout right there. What a day. Wow. What a day. Catching walleyes, perch, lake trout. He's scaring away my perch. <laughs> what a fish, man. That's fun. Yeah, not wasn't the 20 that I nope. thought it was when we were fighting it, but still a really nice fish. Your hands have to be aching right now. Yeah, we'll get this fish back. But, but worth it, of course. <laughs> Ooh, there goes the burp. Look at that. Fills that eight inch hole right up. <laughs> Off she goes. I cannot believe those hooks held. <laughs> There's a little warmth for you. Yeah. Nice job. All right. Okay, now uh, I hope to be the next guy that gets to say, oh, it's a lake trout. <laughs> <laughs> cool stuff. Yes. Markham Technologies unleashes GPS with the release of the RT9, the first to combine sonar, underwater camera, and Navionics mapping in a 9-inch ruggedized touchscreen tablet. Built on the Android operating system, the Wi-Fi-enabled RT9 can be used as a standalone tablet or snap into the cradle or performance pack for unmatched portability. Ice electronics the way they were meant to be. Sonar, GPS, underwater camera, one unit. Experience the RT9 from Markham Technologies. The lithium laser and lithium chipper from Strikemaster deliver power on demand with the push of a button and an industry-leading 50-volt lithium-ion battery. Reach for the lithium laser if you need unmatched hole-punching speed or opt for the lithium chipper if you need the durability of chipper blades for opening old holes or drilling in dirty ice. No matter which auger is right for the way you fish, reach for a Strikemaster lithium, the electric auger with power to spare. There we go. This one feels like an all right one. Yeah? Yeah, whole bunch of them down there. Double. I don't think it's a perch. It is that time of day. What do you got? Well, if it's a perch, it's gonna be ridiculous. So I'm gonna say it's a, it's a walleye eater, you know, teener. Yeah. yeah nice walleye. No! Oh, you still got him. Oh, yeah. That's one of those nice things about uh, fishing an 8-inch hole on a cold day. He couldn't go anywhere. Right. <laughs> All right. Definitely my best walleye of the day. And we're starting to see the plan come together here a little bit. The walleyes were not kind to us early in the day. Those nice perch uh, picked up the slack for us. And now that we kind of get that light level low where a guy kind of wants it, we're seeing some really nice fish. <laughs> There's a lot of afternoons where walleye guys like Pat and I will hope things come together like they've come together this afternoon. You know, we all talk about that magic hour and I'll be honest with you, it doesn't always work. <laughs> Today it's working in spades. You gotta come see this. There's, there's no way I can't show this to the camera. That fish, I don't even know he's hooked. He's got that slab wrapped straight up and down in his mouth. He couldn't close his mouth if he tried. 
I mean, I gotta have to use the hemostats just to pull it out. You see that happen once in a while with big walleyes and husky jerks. Not a big fish. Big appetite, though. See you later, guy. There oh. he is. Should I be running? No, I might have jumped the gun. It's all right. He's bigger than the last few I had. It's still just that upper teen, 16 inch or so. I'm gonna push shallower yet, buddy. It's just amazing how fast those fish move through. You have like 15 minutes. Oh yeah. And then you just gotta move up shallow or just be done catching fish because right. they're not coming back. <laughs> but that's a cool, that's pretty. You know, that sun hitting that walleye. Just a fantastic day to be out on the ice. I did not even see that one eat it. Really? <laughs> well, here's what we've learned, Pat. 15 feet is too shallow. 21 to 23 is about perfect. <laughs> oh. Another one that that slab wrap is just gone. Are you you're running the green UV? Aren't you? I am. I yeah. am. They just love that green UV up here on Lake of the Woods. Yeah, he's not even really hooked. Just pop that out like that. Another beauty fish. Well, James, I'm gonna let that one go and get back down there. Boy, I got one just rushing me. He's chased it up twice. Ooh. There he hit it finally. <laughs> He's not a very big one, but it, he's still fun. It doesn't matter. It hardly does matter. At this point in the day, we've caught tons of jumbo perch, a pile of walleyes, a bonus lake trout. We've had an awesome day nonetheless. I don't need any more. Yep. All right, plus we got a fairly decent snowmobile ride back. Yep. All right, it's hard to say goodbye, but goodbye it is. We got our fill. So that brings us to the end of today's episode. And while we started out targeting walleye early in the morning, it was those perch that really saved the day until the walleye bite turned on later in the afternoon. So if you've got an itch to scratch, you're not quite ready to let go of that ice fishing season, make sure you give Crawford's Camp a call. They've got some pretty good ice yet and obviously a great bite. So next week, we're out in the boat. Where we're headed, I have no idea, but it's gonna be a completely different atmosphere and I, for one, and more than ready to transition to open water. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.